Your typical test results from your typical patient? Fine. Let's start with Miss Jane Foreman. Acute gastric inflammation? Uh-huh. What's that? A tummy ache. A tummy <laughs> That's as good as we could do, a tummy ache? You said typical. Well, not that typical. How about something a little more serious, you know, like tuberculosis? Or uh, how about a very rare disease, you know, something that's almost always fatal? Oh, I've met guys like you before. You get off on that really gross stuff, don't you? In a way. I mean, nothing like confronting the old grim reaper to get the blood flow. <laughs> okay, well then. How about this? Uh, Feden's disease. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sounds exotic. Do you like exotic? I'm crazy about exotic. Good answer. What's the prognosis? Sign say he died last night. They say it was transmitted by some mutant strain of bacteria from Africa. See, the bacteria gets into the human bloodstream Perfect. and... Uh, I mean, I mean, it's terrible, terrible, but I mean, in, in its own way, it's perfect. I mean, if you were going to be a bacteria, isn't this what you'd want to be, right? <laughs> You're weird, Max. You're really weird. You don't know the half of it. Those for me? Compliments of Dr. Lewis. Oh. You'll have to sign for him. Great. Excuse me. Yeah, she goes in the van. Oh, okay. Thanks, Will. No problem. So, where were we? Oh, fatal illnesses, Eden's disease. That's not what I had in mind. Amazing, the test results go in here and they get merged with medical history. Mm -hmm. And the attending physician can make a diagnosis within minutes. And in the case of someone who has a rare disease like that beaten Oh, thing. yeah, it's terribly sad, really. Mr. Lamonico never had a chance. Now, you've seen enough. No, I mean, uh, I mean, no, I'm getting into this. I, come on, just one more example. See that guy they brought in, Carlo Hesse? <laughs> Yes, like all the others. I log in the test results, and Dr. Wolick can call them up and prescribe treatment. Mm, I really love to watch your keystrokes. You know, I'm starting to think you like my computer more than you like me. Oh. Both of you together, something about watching a woman do something she really knows how to do <laughs> that gets me going. Oh. oh, in that case... Would you like to see my specialty? Something that none of the other lab technicians even dare try. Oh, yes. Oh. It goes something like this. It's late. No one will bother us, and I can show you what I'm really good at. There's more to learn? And that machine. I mean, I'm all for cyber sex, but there's something to be said for the old-fashioned way. Whoa. Mm. Mm. You're right. Why waste the opportunity? Let's make sure we're not interrupted. experiment. You be the nurse, I'll be the doctor. Mm. Oh, you are wasted here. Mm. Mm. Make me an offer. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> mm. You know what? Mm. Door's locked. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows we're here. Mm -mm. Let's get naked. <laughs> you first. No. Together. Mm. There's an intruder. Do you have a sign on the alarm? Where? Push. Lady, what 
How are you doing here? This is my day. I... No, see, what am I doing here? What are they doing? Maggie Carpenter? Oh. Oh, good Lord, she's at it again. Officer, please, please, please be gentle with her. No, 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 you... It's not me. I didn't do anything wrong. He needs to be stopped before it's too late. Isn't that your friend, the nun? Tragic, isn't it? Mm. Even very religious people can have deep psychological problems. I'm taking her down. No, look, Sorry I didn't, for the disturbance. didn't do anything wrong. It's him. Hey, that's a new one. Yeah, right. Max, do something now. Hey, 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 you know, nobody. I'd better go with him. Well, that'd be very kind of you. No, uh, would you wait for me? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. LaMonaco. Rest in peace. Sorry, Maggie. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Goodbye, Mr. LaMonaco. Your new name is Hesser. Carlo. And Carlo? You've got a new diagnosis. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello? 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 Goodbye. Coming! Oh. Well, if it isn't the snooping sister looking a little frazzled, I might add. How are you doing? You know very well how I'm doing. I've been an absolutely miserable, humiliating night in the hospital security office because of you. Well, let's see who was without sin cast the first stone. Don't quote scripture to me, Holden. Face it, Maggie. If you're going to break into a hospital laboratory and spy on people, you got to face the consequences. Humbling is in. I want to know what you were doing there, what you were really doing. Well, I was playing doctor with about the hottest lab technician in Eastern <sighs> Pennsylvania, which is not a crime. Being a peeping Tom, however, is a felony and a very sick practice, Maggie. I'm actually losing a little respect for you. Oh. I wonder what your mother superior would Will think. you stop making a joke out of all this? I happen to know you're involved in some conspiracy, and Renee is involved with it, too. She is? Yes. I've heard you two talking. I've seen you together. Ooh, that takes an active imagination. The two of you put something in Carlo Hesser's wiener. Excuse me? At the 4th of July party. He almost died. He didn't. And then you were way, way, way too interested in how those computers work in the hospital lab, so I know something is up there, Wow, too. you're seeing conspiracies everywhere. Why don't you write the next book on JFK's assassination? Stop trying to be funny. Stop being silly. If this is the way you want it, you leave me no choice. I'm just gonna have to go to the police. I can't let you do that. Going to the police is a bad idea, okay? No, it's not okay. You're mixed up in something, and whatever it is, I know it's wrong. You don't know anything. Then tell me what's going on. Look, just stay out of it. One good reason. Because I asked? Give me another good reason. Because if you do something, you're going to cause nothing but trouble. I'm going to cause trouble. You're plotting to murder someone, and I'm going to cause trouble. When did I ever trouble. say anything about murdering someone? I practically caught you red-handed, and Carlo almost died. No, he didn't. He got a bad belly ache and some embarrassing bowel problem, but he's better. Yeah, I know he's better, because the security guards let me go check in at the nurse's station in the morning before they hauled my butt off the hospital grounds. Well, then what's the big deal? Max, your plan didn't work. All right, you didn't kill him, so just stop it now. Don't don't kill him with whatever you're doing with these computers. Lord God in heaven, what are you talking about? What am I going to do, press his delete button, hit him with a mouse, maybe kill him with a fast double click? What is with you? No, that's my question to you. No, you've been crazy ever since you got back because from Boston. you've been acting so strange. By doing what? By, first of all, pushing me away when you know all I want to do is help. Why? Why do you want to help? I already told you, because I feel like you're about to do something that's going to imperil your immortal soul, and I feel I have to stop you. Why are you obsessing about this? Because I'm afraid for you. Remember, in fact, we're more than friends. Oh? Yes. We're very good friends, or at least I thought we were. Now, will you tell me what you're up to? Okay, Maggie, I am... I am doing something... to help someone who was hurt by Carlo, okay? Okay. You'll have to do better than that. But Maggie, I'm... Maggie, you're a nun, right? Don't you have nun things to do, like ministering to the poor, feeding the sick, and, you know, no, playing I, a guitar? I am going to save mountain, your soul, you? whether you like it or not, and that is why I'm going to give you one more chance to tell me the truth. Well, go ahead. I'm waiting. Max, you know I, I would never want any harm to come to you. Good, then stay out of it. But if Carlo were out to murder you because he found out that you were trying to do something to hurt him... 
Oh, for the love of God, will you just tell me what's going on? I can't. I gotta answer the phone. Hello? You gotta help me, Holden. What? I need help. They are talking about doing something to my brain. Alex wants to shut me up. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Just one minute. Don't let it happen. I'm begging you. Asa, you there? Asa, Asa, what are they planning to do to you? Asa!